Imagine a computer that can think and learn like a human brain. A machine so powerful yet energy efficient could revolutionize artificial intelligence as we know it. Well, that future is now. Scientists have just announced the creation of the world's first neuromorphic supercomputer, a game-changing innovation that mimics the neural networks of the human brain. Hi everyone, my name is Alex, and welcome to another exciting episode where we explore the latest advancements in technology. In today's video, we'll be looking at the groundbreaking new neuromorphic supercomputer called Deep South. This is a monumental achievement that could dramatically shape the future of AI, computing, and our understanding of the human brain. I know it sounds like sci-fi, but this thing is very real and very powerful. Just look at these insane specs. Deep South can perform 228 trillion synaptic operations per second while using a fraction of the power of traditional supercomputers. For perspective, that's about the processing speed of a human brain. This combination of brain-like performance and efficiency is what makes Deep South so revolutionary. And it was all made possible by mimicking the neural biology of our minds. Pretty crazy, right? The development was led by the International Center for Neuromorphic Systems in Australia, and it involved collaborating with top researchers across the globe. Their goal was to overcome a big bottleneck in brain science and AI, simulating the massive scale of human neural networks. You see, even the best supercomputers today still can't efficiently model hundreds of billions of interconnected neurons. It just takes too much processing power using traditional computing architectures. Deep South completely flips that concept using neuromorphic engineering. This involves custom hardware and algorithms that closely match the behavior of biological neurons and synapses. So in a way, we now have a silicon replica of the human brain that can mimic its complex neural activities in real time. Just think about the possibilities this opens up. Deep South could revolutionize our understanding of the brain at the neuronal level. How neurons interact, form connections, and communicate. Even how the brain works in disease. This will generate new insights into building smarter AI systems that truly learn, adapt, and perceive the world more like humans. Some experts are saying Deep South could be the K breakthrough for achieving artificial general intelligence, or AGI. That's the holy grail of AI research. However, the applications go far beyond replicating human cognition. This technology can power ultra-efficient and intelligent devices for manufacturing, agriculture, space exploration, you name it. The lead researchers describe it as a kind of universal neuromorphic engine for tackling all sorts of real-world problems. Now, neuromorphic computing and brain-inspired AI are not entirely new. Scientists have been working on this concept for decades. But Deep South is a huge leap forward in scale and performance. Let's do a quick rundown of what makes this system so advanced. First, it's ludicrously fast. We're talking one exaflop of processing power, on par with the neural operations of the human brain. No other neuromorphic machine comes close to matching our biological capabilities. Second, it's highly efficient. Neuromorphic chips require very little power compared to traditional supercomputers. This allows Deep South to run complex neural networks in real time without melting your hardware. Third, it uses commercial off-the-shelf components. This makes the system affordable, reliable, and easy to replicate at data centers worldwide. And fourth, it's flexible and programmable. Researchers can customize the hardware and model different neural architectures. This adaptability is key to further developing the system. So in summary, we have processing speeds matching the human brain, ultra-low power consumption, cheaper scalability, and the ability to mimic different neural functions. That's just an insane combo. This project really signifies the growing maturity of neuromorphic technology. And the team is planning to make Deep South operational by April 2024. Other groups like Intel are also making big investments into this field. Their Loihi neuromorphic chip processes over 100 million neurons in real time. And large tech companies like IBM and Qualcomm are collaborating on brain-inspired AI hardware to enable sensing, biometrics, and advanced robotics. But Deep South seems poised to take neuromorphic computing to the next level. Some experts believe this could trigger a new computing paradigm beyond silicon chips. The lead researcher describes it as a vital step towards our understanding of intelligence both natural and artificial. However, there are still challenges ahead. 
neuromorphic systems have to prove they can match the versatility and learning capacity of biological brains. There's a lot we still don't understand about natural neural computations, but many researchers feel we've reached an inflection point. The rapid advancements in neuromorphic tech are opening exciting new possibilities. The potential impacts on society are enormous. From building lifelike AI assistants, to achieving new scientific discoveries, to driving entire smart cities. Some predict this could also raise concerns around artificial general intelligence and ensuring neuromorphic systems are developed safely and ethically. But the future possibilities seem endless. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this groundbreaking new supercomputer. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content explaining the latest developments in technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.